so we are trying to do the plate solving so this is the star in stellarium and uh, this is the preview of a sharp cap from the camera and you can see there is no star here the bright star has to be in this center but it is not there so what we are doing is we are getting the star in center for the stellarium and we have slewed it slewed to it and once we slew to it uh, the star ideally should be in the center of the field of view but it is not there right now so what we'll do is we'll go here so it's called plate solve and sync in a sharp cap under scope controls option so it is doing the plate solving so i use the 4 second frame this is my setting so mono 8 beginning 4 and 4 second frame so it is solving the field of view so once the field of view is solved you can see the green bar and that means the plate solving successful and the star should be in the frame now so this is the star the mount has moved to the position of star note that initially the star will not be in perfect center once you solve many multiple stars the stars for the stars will try to get in the center so this is an plate solve to the approximate center position so we'll go here we'll change this to small value so we get a preview of the star so this is the preview of star and we'll try to get it center So it's a double star actually. We'll try to get it center by adjusting the scope. So this is how we get the star in the center. Once we have the star in the center, we will go back to the Stellarium. So in Stellarium we will sync it. So the Stellarium will know that this star has been synced to this position. So for the next star we will do the same process again. And the more stars we do the alignment and syncing, our targeting accuracy increase for any given target in the sky. So this is the basic about plate solving using Stellarium and Sharp Cap.